Hello everyone, today I have the second generation FLIR 1 for iOS. The FLIR 1 incorporates a visible camera as well as the new FLIR Lepton thermal imaging camera in a small package. It uses a technology called MSX to combine visible and thermal images together as well as sharpen the thermal image. On the side, the power button. This is an iOS version which has a lightning connector which you can see here, but there is an Android version with a micro USB connector as well. On this side we have a micro USB port as well as a charging indicator light. The FLIR 1 is about 18 millimeters deep, about 63 millimeters wide, and about 29 millimeters tall, not including the lightning connector. It also weighs in at about 28 grams. Let's plug it in to this iPhone 5 and see how it works. It can be plugged in facing in either direction. Once plugged in, start the FLIR 1 app. Then press the power button and after a few seconds it will start up. The FLIR 1, when combined with the visible light camera using MSX technology, provides a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels. I am going to pour myself a tasty beverage and we can see what that looks like through the FLIR 1. We will also see some of the other color palettes that are available in the FLIR 1 application. I am a big fan of the temperature gauge. I have found it to be very useful for all types of situations. The range of the FLIR 1 is about 100 feet, although that depends on atmospheric conditions. It also has a built-in battery which should last for about one hour. Here are the available color palettes. You can toggle the temperature gauge as well as recalibrate the lepton camera with these two buttons. Although the new FLIR 1 now calibrates automatically. You can also take photos, videos, panoramas and even time lapses all within the FLIR 1 app. There is an updated SDK for the FLIR 1 on the iOS platform and in July, an Android SDK will be released as well. I have posted the link in the description for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this first look at the FLIR 1 for iOS. Thanks for watching.